Hi and welcome to another watch review video. This time on my hands is the Casio SGW100. The SGW100, uh, while not the Casio G-Shocks uh, tough, it's definitely tough enough to handle whatever you throw at it. It also has the stuff that's generally useful to survivalists, namely the big digit display, compass, 200 meters of water resistance, multiple alarms, countdown timer with auto repeat and grooved buttons that are uh, easy to press while designed right so they uh, don't get knocked accidentally. True, it's not a solar, nor does it have atomic timekeeping. The watch has a plus or minus 30 seconds a month for accuracy, so if you assume one second gained or lost per day, at the worst you will only see the time off by six minutes after one year, of not uh, adjusting the time at all. And that's uh, truly not bad. The SGW100 is a twin sense, so it's not an ABC watch. The two sensors are thermometer and the compass. And I'll get into more detail on those in a moment. This watch is powered by CR2025 battery, no solar. Battery life is estimated to be at 3 years. It has the ability to do the world time with 29 time zones and 48 cities support. Supports the DST, has 4 alarms and 1 snooze alarm has a countdown timer, 24 hour maximum, with auto repeat and has a 1 hour maximum stopwatch. Weight of the watch is a 53 to 55 grams, depending on the model and the strap type. Size is stated to be 51.5 mm lug to lug, 46.6 mm case size and 13.2 mm thickness. However, the canvas strap version is uh, slightly shorter, like to lug around 49 mm, meaning the watch is smaller wrist friendly. The digit display is huge, but done right, very easy to read. So, let's see what is, a, what is there to read on this watch, I mean the watch functions. Starting off from the uh, pressing the mode button, well first of all let's check out the dial. Uh, uh, in this case it's an inverted uh, type of the dial, not a classical one as we would call it. And over here you have the uh, on the main uh, display uh, the time, the seconds in the lower and the, on the upper one you have the date shown in English as well as the uh, numerals format. By pressing the mode button you scroll through the world time, the stopwatch mode, the countdown timer mode, the alarm mode and back to the standard timekeeping mode. The compass button or the compass has its designated button which is marked as the compass and when I press it the compass will engage. Also it will use this uh, outer digital bezel so, you, so it will show the north. This is the watch bearing and on the lower sub dial we have the temperature reading. And those would be the basics of the uh, watch functions of this watch. Hi and welcome to the tutorial part of this video review. And I'm going to start off with um, setting the time and date on this watch. Let's get all with, let's get started with the um, home city settings and the daylight saving time. Whilst in the standard timekeeping mode, hold down on and press the press and hold down the adjust button until the watch beeps. And there it is. So currently, my city code is flashing Tokyo. How to shuffle between the uh, city code, pressing the compass button and pressing the light button so you can rotate the, uh, your home city, uh, home city value. And while you rotate the well, city uh, um, acronym over here, the time will automatically shuffle. So I want to find um, Paris because that is my time zone. And there it is. That's my time zone. So, uh, next press of the mode button gets us to um, the daylight saving time. And I press the mode button once and it says it's off. So, currently the daylight saving time is off in my country. So, you can shuffle between on and off using the compass button. Moving on to the next function is done by pressing the mode button. And that is 12 or, or 24 hour time format. By pressing the compass button, I want to get it back to the 
24 hour format because that's easier for me to read the time. Next press of the mode button gets us to setting the uh, seconds value. Now you cannot um, ex uh, set the exact value of seconds, but you can you can reset the value of settings by pressing the compass button. Next press gets us to setting the uh, hour value on this watch. Let's wait for the camera. Uh, there it is. Um, so in my current time zone, this is uh, wrong. So I'm gonna set it to 14 o'clock by pressing these two buttons. So pressing the compass and the light button, I can increase or decrease the value. And once, once I'm done with the settings, press the um, mode button and it will shift to setting the uh, minutes value. Uh, so what is the time on uh, currently it's 1446 so let's press the uh, so the compass button to increase or the light button to decrease the value so it's 1446 i'm gonna leave it at 47 next press of the mode button gets us to setting the um, year so currently i don't know what's the focus thing on this camera Try and get it. So currently it's set to 2005, but today is the year is 2020, and I'm gonna move it to 2020 by pressing the compass button to increase the value. And there it is, so it's 2020. Next press of the mode button gets us to setting the um, month. So currently it's the uh, February, so it's the second. Pressing the compass button, I will shuffle to number two so for the February. Next press of the mode button shifts us to setting the day and currently is 28th. So pressing the compass or the light button will increase or decrease. Let me get to 28th there it is so it's currently 28th next press of the mode button gets us to uh, setting the temperature unit value you have the temp flashing over here and on the lower sub dial i don't know if camera can pick it up yes there it is you have the celsius flashing now pressing the mode button will shift to the fahrenheit let me get the focus there it is and pressing it again moves us to the celsius value here it is i'm shuffling between celsius and fahrenheit i'm gonna leave it at the celsius as a preset because celsius is my temperature measurement units and once you are done with the setting uh, press the mode button once again we have back uh, we have rotated the settings to the beginning and once you are done with all the settings and the settings is the way you want just press the adjust button once and you are back to the standard timekeeping and all the settings have been um, implemented in this watch digital compass or slash thermometer you can take the directional readings and temperature readings in the um, digital compass or the thermometer mode directional readings are taken by the watch's built-in magnetic bearing sensor and displayed as one of the 16 directions a temperature sensor is used uh, for temperature readings how to enter the compass mode well uh, the compass uh, has its designated button from the standard timekeeping mode, press the compass button and uh, about two seconds later, the watch will start to take the direction and temperature readings. Um, directional, uh, direction readings will be taken each second for about uh, 10 seconds and then stop automatically. Temperature readings will be taken every two seconds for about 10 seconds and then also stop automatically. Um, how to uh, engage the stop the compass mode again simply by pressing the um, compass button the watch takes temperature readings automatically whenever you enter the digital compass or the thermometer mode uh, in, in addition you can take readings manually 
by pressing the um, uh, compass button. How to take the directional reading? While the watch is in the digital on compass mode, uh, place it on the flat surface or if you are wearing the watch, make sure that your wrist is in the um, horizontal position. Uh, point the 12 o'clock position of the watch in the direction you want to measure and then press the compass button over here. After about two seconds, the direction that 12 o'clock position of the watch is pointing appears on the display. Uh, a pointer on the display indicates the magnetic north. After the first reading is obtained, um, the watch continues to take directional readings automatically each second for about 10 seconds. Uh, uh, the please calculate appears on the display after a directional reading is complete, indicating that the bearing sensor calibration is required. Now I have talked about the uh, calibration or the sensor calibration earlier in my videos when I was talking about the SGW um, 400, SGW 600, so you can find that over there. Oral time displays the current time in 48 cities or 29 time zones around the world. If the current time shown for a city is wrong, check your home city settings and make the necessary changes. How to enter the uh, world time mode? Well, from the standard timekeeping mode, just press the mode button once and you uh, briefly have uh, the WT indicated over here, indicating that the world time mode is on. So, currently my world time is showing the uh, time in the Rio de Janeiro and this over here is my um, current time time or the home city time over here is the um, your world time mode um, how to uh, toggle between the other cities or the other time zones by pressing the compass button you can shuffle between the city values and you will also shuffle between the city uh, time value in that city so well, whilst i'm pressing the compass button so currently i'm uh, stopped at the singapore and this is the singapore time and basically you can rotate the uh, all the times over there so you can have the um, time indicated over in the other time zone and those would be the basics of the world time mode on this watch using the stopwatch on this uh, SG, sgw 100 the stopwatch lets you measure the elapsed time, split times and two finishes. The display range of the stopwatch is 59 minutes, 59.99 seconds. The stopwatch continues to run, restarting from zero after it reaches the, its limit. How to enter the stopwatch? By pressing the mode button once, twice and you are in the stopwatch mode. Over here uh, you have the minutes. You have the um, seconds and over here is the one one uh, hundredth of a second. On the upper left part of the display is the um, uh, current time. How to measure the time? Uh, how to measure, first of all, let's see how to measure the elapsed time. Uh, use the compass button to engage the stopwatch. Use the same button to stop it and restart it. Stop it and press the uh, adjust button to clear the value. How to measure the split time? Press the compass button to start. Uh, press the uh, adjust button to split it and the SPL will be displayed. There it is. Split release again the same button. Press the um, compass button to stop it and adjust button to clear the value. How to measure the two finishes? First, let's start the stopwatch by pressing the compass button. Pressing the adjust button, split, uh, the first runner finishes and it will display the time of first runner. Uh, press the compass button to stop, second runner finishes, uh, adjust button, split release, display time of the second runner and again pressing the adjust button that will clear the value. Those would be the basics of the stopwatch mode on this watch. The countdown timer. You can set the countdown timer within a range of um, 1 minute to 24 hours. An alarm sounds when the countdown timer reaches zero. You can also select, select auto repeat which automatically restarts the countdown from the original value you set whenever a zero is reached. 
all of the uh, operations in these sections are performed the, by the countdown timer mode and that's uh, done by uh, pressing the, enter the entering the countdown timer and that's done by pressing the mode button so pressing the mode button once twice and pressing it again so three times you have entered the countdown timer and it's indicated on this uh, over here sub dial well the countdown start time is on the um display in the countdown timer mode you can hold down the adjust button to indicate the value so let's hold down and you have the um uh, flashing uh, the value of the minutes so um, how to uh, increase or decrease the value well in pressing the light and the compass button will increase or decrease the value uh, pressing the mode button once will shuffle to uh, setting the seconds value on this watch uh, again pressing the um, compass and, and the um, light button will indicate will increase or decrease the value once you are done just press the adjust button and you have set your time and uh, now we have set the hours the minutes and the seconds are aligned at this zero how to uh, engage the stop uh, sorry the timer press the compass button and time will start to uh, count down so you have the uh, 5 hours 29 minutes and 53 52 51 seconds and counting down to stop it press the compass button and the countdown timer will stop counting down to reset the value just press the adjust button and it will reset to the uh, indicated time at the beginning the time we have set previously and those are the basics of the uh, stopwatch sorry the countdown timer on this watch oh there's another thing i want to say when you set all zeros that will specify the 24 hour time so it will count down from 24 hours to zero um, again those will be the basics of the countdown timer mode on this watch using the alarm on this watch uh, the alarm mode gives you a choice of four uh, one-time alarms and one snooze alarm also uh, use the alarm mode to turn on the hourly time signal at the sig and on or off basically there are uh, five alarms number al1 through al4 and the s and z which uh, stands for the snooze alarm uh, when you enter the alarm mode and enter the alarm mode by pressing the mode button there it is the alm is indicated briefly and you have shown the uh, al1 uh, when you enter the uh, alarm mode you can press the uh, compass button to scroll through these alarms so you have the alarm number two three four five snooze sorry four snooze and the hourly time signal how to turn on the any of those uh, alarms uh, well by pressing the adjust button you can turn on the alarm number one it's indicated on and it's indicated on this um, segment over here or this diagram or the logo of the alarm is also lit up to turn it off just press the uh, adjust button once again so let's say i want to preset the value of the alarm three hold press and hold the adjust button until the uh, hour value starts to flash now use the uh, light or the compass button to increase or decrease the value of the uh, hours there it is uh, pressing the uh, mode button shuffles to setting the minutes and again use these two buttons to increase or decrease the value of these two but uh, um, uh, the uh, minutes value once you are done simply pressing the adjust button automatically sets the value you want and turns the alarm on so uh, those would be the basics uh, when you want to turn it off again pressing the uh, adjust button turns it off next press of the um, compass button shuffles to the snooze alarm again procedure is the same and you can also uh, uh, turn on the hourly time signal by pressing simply pressing the adjust button and you will have this bell indicated on the um, lower uh, part of this dial so pressing it again turns it off and it's indicated over here and basically those would be the basics of the alarm mode on the sgw 100
and with that basically i would conclude this uh, review thank you very much for watching please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more watch content thanks